This video demonstrates getting started with the Field Service Management Mobile Experience. The Field Service Management application helps your organization manage work tasks performed on location. In our scenario, Teddy works as a field service technician for Acme. I'm on the go all day. I need to be able to do everything for my job in the mobile app. Let's follow along to see how he manages his day's work using the Agent Mobile app. When we open the ServiceNow Agent Mobile app, the My Work screen shows our assigned tasks and all the tasks assigned to our group. My schedule shows our tasks for the day, week, and month. My task map shows today's tasks plotted on a map. By scrolling through the tasks, the map display cycles to each new location. We select the list icon to see our task list for today and select the map icon to toggle back to the map. Back in the My Tasks list, we have assigned tasks and an accepted task. Let's source parts for that task. We start by creating a part request. First, we choose a destination. Our personal stockroom is selected by default. Then we add parts, either directly or from part requirements. We select the parts we need and submit the request. Now, the app will help us find the parts, either individually or all together. Here, all the parts are available in our colleague Elisa's stockroom. So we tap Confirm Stockroom to request the parts from her. The status for each part changes to requested. Logged in as Elisa, we receive a notification that Teddy requested parts from our stockroom. So we tap Inventory and access the Requested From Me list to review the request. The request looks good, so we accept it. Teddy receives the notification that Elisa approved his request. So he heads to the stockroom to pick up the parts. Later we confirm that he's picked up the parts, which closes the transfer order line. Now we return to the work order task and tap Start Travel before Teddy heads to the job site. With the Customer Experience feature, we automatically notify the customer that the technician is on the way with an estimated time of arrival, and the customer can track the technician on a map. Later, when Teddy arrives at the site, we tap Start Work. A notification that we lost internet service appears and the offline banner displays. No problem. Teddy can still keep working. Any changes made to the work order task will be saved and uploaded when we're back online. If Teddy runs into any issues, he can review the articles attached automatically to this task by AI and machine learning. The work order task includes a questionnaire for Teddy to fill out. You can create and customize questionnaires for different tasks. When Teddy completes his work at the site, we open the part tab to see the list of parts reserved for this work order. He can scan in the parts here to indicate that they've been used. Now Teddy's ready to close the task and he adds the closure notes. Closing the only work order task on this work order also closes the work order. So Teddy asks the customer to sign and confirm that the task is complete. The signed work order is saved as a PDF in the activity stream. Teddy finished the work early. So we return to the My Work screen and open Recommend Task. Intelligent task recommendations provide recommended tasks for agents based on the amount of time they have available and their skills. We enter a start and end time for Teddy's window of availability. A task within that window that meets Teddy's skills is added to his task list, and he can accept or reject the task. In the activity stream, we notify our dispatcher that we're taking on this job next. But before Teddy heads out to the next job site, we access his timesheet to verify his time spent on the first work order task just by taking the actions of Start Travel, Start Work, and Close Complete, the mobile app automatically creates timesheet entries. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.